In today's budget brawl, we have four bottom shelf Canadian whiskies going head to head. In the first corner, our reigning champion coming in at $9, Windsor Canadian. In the second corner, our current runner up coming in at $10, Canadian Mist. In the third corner, coming in at $11, Rich and Rare Reserve. And finally, in the fourth corner, coming in at $13, Black Velvet Reserve. All competitors weigh in at 80 proof. Does reserve mean a better whiskey? Let's find out. Let's brawl. Thanks, Joyce. We have our whiskeys before us. We're going to go whiskeys A through D, come back, D through A, and then we'll break off side on ranking and return with, with results. All right. I can tell Eric's really excited about this one. I am very excited about this one in some kind of way. Start with whiskey A. Whoa. Eh, could be worse. Smells like Canadian whiskey. I'll go with alcohol at first. Right, Canadian whiskey. Right. Gloom, despair, and agony. Just very grain-like, ethanol. I'm not offended. I don't mind that. I'm getting like hard candy, basic hard tack candy. Yeah, I'm getting like a sweet caramely note. Yeah, I was going to say good, a hard caramel. But not at the quality of the Werther's. No. No, no like a... Uh, like some sort of off-brand, like dollar like store. Some kind of Canadian yeah. Werther's. <laughs> <laughs> I do love Canada. I'm off to B. That one smells more candy. I'm getting balloon. Like the inside, like, like the if you smell a balloon feeling yeah. Yeah. of the inside of a balloon. Yeah. I'm starting to get that, but my first nosing was caramel, like a like a Werther's original. I'm getting like that. Rubbery, powdery, rubbery. Yeah, I, I'm starting to get it, but I was not getting it at first. That was that was the first note I got. Okay, but there's like a caramel inside the balloon. I mean, if this was a scotch, I would say it was band aidy and really, really intriguing. I but, mean, but it's not band aidy. I think it's a apt note for this. I want to take this up. Man, that is smooth and bland. Again, not offensive. It's smooth. It's not offensive. You're right. <laughs> it is kind and gentle. Like a good Canadian. However, it, it could use some... Something. Some being offensive. Show me some character. Stand up for yourself. On to last C. I don't like this one. It's got this, like, grain funk. Like... Yeah, musty. It, it smells like uh, you took some corn and added water and just let it sit. I'm getting, like, an old leathery boot. Or, like, a worn leather boot that's been sitting out in the rain. Yeah. It's got mold grown all over it. I'm getting something nutty. I can see the nuttiness. I'd say it's the corn. What I'm smelling, I am tasting. And it's definitely not lacking character. I just can't. No, it's it. not lacking character, which is good. Is it? I can't I can't quite place if it's a good character or a bad character. Not lacking character in and of itself is a good thing. I'm not sure that this is the kind of character you want. I think I like it. You're right. It tastes like the nose. And I think I like it on the palate, though. It's like a sweet boot. I think once mm. I got past that first whiff on the nose and got into the second, which sometimes you might, with this one, you have to be brave enough to go into the second whiff. I liked it. It was one of those addicting aromas. I'll leave my judgment till I do that second pass. You want to say right, I'm moving on to D. Oh, this one actually smells a little fruity. Grandma's perfume. Yeah, once I get past that first whiff of just straight alcohol and my nose hairs revive themselves. <laughs> I'm getting a fruity note. I am getting like a fruity floral note. That smells really good, actually. I still prefer Caesar, C's nose. I think you're wrong. I would agree. I'm allowed to be wrong. We're all allowed to be wrong. We're all allowed to have our own opinion. The palette on Oof. this one I like better. <laughs> I, have a set. I like that a lot. Yeah, that palette is great. Ooh, man. I'm not getting the fruit and floral notes I was expecting. I'm still getting them, though. I am still getting them, but they're just not, like, the forefront. It's more grainy, but, like, a good grain. But if that grainy note is fruit, there is fruit and floral notes on the palette. I'm getting juicy See, that fruit. second sip was, like, straight, like, flowers. I'm getting juicy fruit. So that's our quick thoughts on whiskeys A through D. We're going to take a small break, let our palettes reset, and then go D through A. While we're waiting though, go ahead and leave a comment down below before you watch the rest of the video and let us know which whiskey you think is going to win. If you enjoy this video, leave a like down below. If you'd like to see more reviews like this one, go ahead and click that subscribe button down at the bottom. We've let our palettes are set. We're gonna go D through A. Glass D. 
It's not as fruity and floral in the nose as it was before. It's still a little bit. It's not as. I will say, yeah. It went from being not like as, not as vibrant to being like a six. Still good. Yep, it still tastes good. It's even sweeter the second time around. See, I'm getting more of the fruit notes on the palate the second time around. Grain has kind of moved to the back. And just general sweetness is there. And it's a very viscous mouthfeel. Oh, yeah. I'm ready to move on to glass C. Yeah, it's still just as like musty corn note as it was before. That's good to know. I just want to know if I still like it. I still don't like the nose, but it has character. This is better than I remember it from the first time around. I would say that the boot seems less old and like rotting now. It seems like it's still a used boot, but it's like a good used boot. I'm getting like actual vanilla bean. I can see that too. vanilla, but the actual vanilla bean. Let's move on to letter B. So the first hit I got was ethanol, but as I sniffed a little more, I started getting that caramel note again. I think the palate is definitely sweet. Like an apple cider vinegar. Ooh. Yeah. I do, yeah, yeah. I do see that. On glass A. This is still very ethanol forward. I was hoping we would like adjust going see, through and coming back. The second time around, none of them hit me with that, like just straight ethanol. This one is still hitting me with like a strong ethanol presence. I'm getting a bit of ballpark popcorn. See, I, I'm getting the ethanol note on the nose. It's not as punchy, but it's still punchier than all the other ones to me. The palate is still sweet and I'd say a bit sharp, but other than sweet and a bit sharp, to give it like a little bit of character, I'd say there's not much flavor there. Overall, I should think this one's pretty bland. So this glass is D through A. We're gonna go ahead and break off put these in our own rankings and we'll come back with results. For back to the results, we have a very clear cut winner. The other three are really close, but we're happy with our final table. In last place, we have a tie between glasses A and C. We're gonna start with glass A. Glass A is rich and rare reserve. That surprises me. At three. Which is our was, highest rated. This is the one we gave the best ratings to. Yes. Oh. And I came in last. Coming in third place then, or time for fourth place, is Canadian Mist. Canadian Mist was our current, no, not range champion, our current runner up. So it's been knocked out. What did we give this rating wise? 2.8. Which is our second highest rating in our <laughs> blind reviews. <laughs> Based on ratings, these are the two favorites coming into the brawl. Yeah. Based only on our like our blind review ratings. Coming in second place, which is our new runner up, is Glass B, which is Windsor Canadian, which leaves Glass D as our winner, Black Velvet Reserve. Our current rating champion stays in the running. The Windsor Canadian was our lowest rated at 1.3. So it's won twice now, despite being like our lowest, one of our lowest rated. Yeah, it's, it's knocked off things that have clearly performed better in blind reviews. And what did we give Black Velvet? A two. So Black Velvet, I think this is, we just say this has, does have a nice bottle. Yes. So we do have a nice bottle in the winning spot and a age data bottle as a eight year age statement. And we decided on our previous video with Black Velvet that we would buy that just on the shelf appeal. So Black Velvet preserve a very clear winner compared to the other three. Windsor kind of just nudges out Canadian Mist and Rich and Rare. I'm disappointed about Rich and Rare Reserve. We liked it in the, in the review and it's a really cool looking bottle. Pricing for these bottles. Our winner of Black Velvet is our most expensive bottle at $13. Oh boy. And Windsor is our cheapest bottle at $9. With uh, Canadian Missing at 10 and Return Bear Reserve at 11. Didn't break the bank for this shoe, did we? <laughs> no, we did not. <laughs> um, <laughs> Those bottom three combined are under our budget. <laughs> <laughs> is Black Velvet Reserve worth the extra $4 over Windsor Canadian? I yes, think so. I do think so. One, because I wouldn't mind having this bottle on my shelf. Yeah. That alone gets it at least halfway there. And two, I thought it was a decisive amount better. Cut but, it and makes a good glass. Oh yeah, if you cut it, that'd be an amazing rocks that glass. That would be an amazing yes. rocks glass to drink your more expensive <laughs> or better whiskeys out of. According to our poll, first place was going to go to Windsor Canadian, reigning champion, people voted for the reigning champion. Second place was Richard Mare Reserve. And then Canadian Mist and Black Velvet actually tied in the poll. So that's our results. I'm gonna put these bottles on the shelf. 
And as always, we're gonna go ahead and mix these all up for the toast. Oh, that mustiness really took over. If you wanna see how we got here, check out this video right here somewhere where we do our first round. And until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, this drink's on me. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I only did three of them together and it's good. <laughs>